Hi YouTube, this is Johnny. Time to make a video. It is uh, July the 10th, 2019. It's 2.49 in the afternoon here in West Michigan. I am, I've been reading today Biblical Theology of the New Testament by Peter Schuttmacher. Really enjoying this, really getting a blessing. I'm on chapter 7, God's Uniqueness and Saving Power in the Proclamation of Jesus really incredible material highly recommend it read it and uh, get blessed uh, writing in my diary I'm gonna pay 604 this afternoon drinking coffee still watching our son's dog Ollie Carol's uh, visiting her friend and uh, so yeah, and I'm just going to make a quick video. I want to get these used books I got at the thrift stores last week. I want to get them down the lower level, get them out of my way. First book I picked up last week is Deborah Mitford's Duchess of Delphire, Delph, Delshire, uh, Wait for Me, a Memoirs. Uh, I collect books by the Mitford sisters. Nancy Mitford is a very famous uh, British writer. This is her sister. This is her memoir. Deborah Mitford, Duchess of Devonshire. Wait for me. Memoirs. Then I picked up this novel by a Irish writer called Eureka Street, a novel of Ireland like no other by Robert McLam Wilson. 500 people in library thing had this novel, so it must be really good. And then I picked up this nonfiction, The Women Behind the New Deal, Life and Legacy of Francis Perkins, Social Security, Unemployment, Insurance, and Minimum Wage by Christine Dowdy. I collect books on the Franklin D. Roosevelt presidency. You know, he was president for like, you know, 12 years, three, three, three times he was, I think he died in office and Truman took his place. Woman Behind the New Deal. And then I picked up this novel by Thomas Sanchez. I have another novel by Thomas Sanchez down the lower level that's called Rabbit Boss that was published in 1973. This is called Mile Zero by Thomas Sanchez. This came out in 1990. So now I have two novels by Thomas Sanchez. And uh, so I look forward to reading that. Then I picked up this biography of Mae West, you know, a very silent movie star. Mae West, It Ain't No Sin by Simon Lovish. I've always been curious about Mae West. And I thought I would uh, pick up a biography of her life. It was there at the Goodwill last week. So yeah, so I got this Mae West. And then I picked up this, this is by Edward Ball. I have a book of his down the lower level called Slaves in the Family. This is his nonfiction, The Inventor and the Tycoon, A Gilted Age, Murder and the Birth of Moving Pictures. So I picked this up. Uh, it's on the early movie industry. Then I picked up another biography of a movie star. This is by Eva Gardner, Love is Nothing by Lise Sherbert. I picked this up because I wanted to read about her relationship with Frank Sinatra, which is always, there's a chapter on here on Frank Sinatra. Uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood. So I wanted to read that section. It's only, you know, 90 cents. And then I picked up at Action House this David Am Amersheim, The Children. This is on the, the, the uh, young people who are involved in the uh, civil rights movement. Uh, one, what, the first day of the sit-ins in Nashville, Tennessee, eight young black college students found themselves propelled into the leadership of the civil rights movement as the movement in America entered a period of dramatic change. So I collect books on the civil rights movement before and after. So I got that picked up. So I picked this up at Action House last week. So I picked up an, a biography and 
Ava Gardner, The Movie Stars, by Lee Server. I picked up a book by David Amsheim, The Children of the Civil Rights Movement. I'm not really sure what the inventor of the tycoon is, but I like reading about the Gilded Age. I like reading about uh, those kinds of things, about, the, about early movies and photography, and, and I really like Slaves in the Family by Edward Ball that I have downstairs. Mae West has always kind of intrigued me. So this is a biography in her life. And I, Thomas Sanchez, his novels always look really interesting. And so I picked this one up, Mile Zero. Uh, uh, it says here, Mile Zero marks the location of Key West, the island that defines the end of the American road, the culture junction where Anglo-Saxon, Latin, and Afro worlds collide. On this island, with its cruel legacy of slave trade and Latin revolution and its turbulent present of marijuana millionaires, threadbare illegal immigrants, hard luck treasure hunters, lives St. Cloud, the American expatriate in his own country, a fugitive from unresolved anguish of his generation. Chronicling St. Cloud's dangerous a reawakening mile, mile zero illuminates the inward and outward tumult of our time in a huge, startling, and profoundly felt novel. So then I picked up this book on the woman who was the the labor of sec... Uh, the, uh, she was, what was it? Um, labor secretary under FDR, Frances Perkins. It was by Kristen Downey. And this, I like... I like collecting Irish writers, British writers, French, <laughs> South American, Spanish. This is by an Irish writer. It looks really interesting. Eureka Street by Robert McLean Wilson. Then I collect books on the Mitford sisters. This is the mem memoirs of Deborah Mitford, Duchess of Davishire. Wait for me, memoirs. So those are the thrift stores. I mean, I got, I still have books from the book nook I haven't shown that I got Monday, this this week, Monday. And I got a book coming in the mail. I got two, I got two books that came in the mail yesterday that I haven't shown. And I got a book of essays coming in the mail today by, from Amazon. So yeah, so I've been reading with great Delight and Spiritual Pleasure, Biblical Theology of the New Testament by Peter Schumacher. I read that book this morning on Biblical Spirituality. I went to thrift stores, didn't find anything today. I had to go to Family Fair grocery store and pick up a food item for my wife. And I picked up some wine and some bread and some uh, macaroni salad to go along with my lunch. So I'm sitting here now this afternoon, drinking coffee, reading on New Testament Biblical Theology, writing in my diary, and just uh, having a swell time. So I'll sign off. Not much else going on. It's hot outside. We have the air conditioner blowing. It's a Wednesday. We have Ollie, the little dog, until Sunday, Monday, next week. So, uh, yeah. Not much else to report. Hoping you're having a good reading week. Thank you for the comments. Thank you. I have not got any new subscribers. I have people who are leaving. I think I've lost six since my last video. So yeah, but hey, I'm here just to share my love for books. I'm a bookworm. I've always loved books and that's why I'm here. I'm not here to uh, get, you know, six, seven, eight, thirty, forty thousand subscribers. I'm just here to tell you, go out and read, read, buy books, go to the library, check out books. Books are very, are wonderful things. I don't know what I'd be without books. Books have always been my savior in this, uh, this American wasteland. So I'll sign off until next time. Bye.